Yo 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 my producers what's good it's your boy Avenix. Today I'm sharing with you my progress of the track I sent to Alan Walker K391 and Eric's for the producer campaign event. Although I have not been chosen as one of the 15 producers, I still want to share the story of why I started this track, and why I chose to use it for the event. I got the idea to create this track in the first place from an old song I made in FL Mobile. I copied the chords and pretty much kept the same drum pattern for the new track. Here's how that sounds. Sounds okay not gonna lie. So the track I've created based off of that has actually been posted to YouTube in a recent video, but it's just an updated version with a slightly different melody, a build up, and overall just sounds a lot better. In the beginning I started with a track that sounds like this. And I've turned it into this. What you just heard there was the track that I uploaded for the producer campaign. I'd like to show you the different versions of the track so you guys can see exactly how I got from the first track to my final rendition. Second rendition. I added a build up, a fill in the mid drop, and a little variation on the last quarter of the drop melody. Some of the tracks sound almost exactly the same, so I won't bother to show some of them. I'll just show you the ones that have the most change. Rendition 4. Here the melody starts to sound similar to the final track.
Rendition 7. I added hi-hats in the second half of the drop, to create more of a house vibe. And I also removed the kick drum from the last few bars to tell you, that the drop is ending. The next couple versions are the same, but I experiment with adding different element, to tie the first half of the drop to the second half. Like adding a big snare used in progressive house music, but realizing that a future bass style fill with a laser sound fits better. Once again the final three versions sound very similar, but for the final track I made a slight change to the chords, cutting them up in some places, that probably aren't even noticeable to you. But make the track more groovy. Now that you have seen all the renditions of the track, I will show you the final version one last time. Well, that's as much as I'm going to show for now. I've been working hard on this track for the past month, and I should hopefully have time during this long break from school to finish it, and finally release it to the public. Thank you all for the support, and for watching my videos. Stay safe and I will catch you in the next one.